friends uh, good morning i this is my third presentation tonight now it's 4 am now i'm going to talk about very few things over here which is pertaining to russia and ukraine conflict <clears throat> let me make it very clear in my previous videos i have told the democratic right and right to exercise this country's integrity and uh, freedom whatever way you say it whatever russia is doing it mr putin is doing it is totally totally wrong i don't support uh, a single point or agenda of mr putin i've been watching mr putin till uh, 2000 to 2022 when he holds many positions right he was deputy prime minister he was prime minister he was president and uh, he has taken a kind of a permanent position in russia he's the longest serving president and he's a billionaire people talk about he has got 76 billion us dollar worth of assets some are telling 150 some are <coughs> sorry some are telling i'm so sorry some are telling 350 billion dollar world's richest person if you talk about his wealth compared to any other leader like american president joe biden or the previous president uh, right uh, what you donald trump he is the richest man uh, and i wonder that how come he is became a kind of a so much wealthy he is coming also from a very background is a kind of an ordinary background from there itself like you no know, if his main objective is to serve the nation right he become he is not a communist i believe and uh, Okay, if you analyze critically, probably origin is from the same socialistic, maybe communism mentality. Yes, God is coming from jar system, joining army, then getting a kind of a break uh, in 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 eighteen hundred uh, sorry nineteen hundred eighty five. What had happened in Russia? The communism, uh, like Russia is broken. The La Prestoik, I told you, Mikhail Gorbachev is coming to the picture. After that, in 1991-92, Russia is officially broken into pieces, right? This is the end of USSR, like, no, 1900. So, end of Russia, if I take that end of Russia, means end of Russia, <laughs> 1991 91 it is almost is finishing the entire thing over there in russia is broken right after that small small country this has been formed right you know, like in similar to india right similar to india it has been taken into small pieces over there right now each country is a separate country russia also is one of them putin is the president of russia ukraine they have their own president they have every right to exercise their own wisdom and knowledge getting kind of an european or un membership and all those things those are very common so every country wants to have their own prosperity or uh, associated to different unions that is no but what made uh, mr putin so aggressive against ukraine that is known to everybody it's a long plan and uh, i could see that individual mind is taken a very kind of a drastic step in order to counter ukraine and uh, 
is putting his kind of all defense mechanism into inside invading invading is is too much right one can fight from the border that one can see those things are common uh, in many countries like you no know, sometime in india we have borderline fights right but is invading and affecting common people uh, killing small kid it's very very torturing kind of thing that is what I, it's very painful this is very painful exercise probably for a common man watching all those things it is too much and kind of statement that is coming out from different media is putting his kind of an uh, atom bomb uh, warheads you got russia has got the maximum number of warheads i do have statistics over here right in russia you have 5977 warheads compared to us it is 5500 close to 50 china is only having 350 then uh, followed by uk 225 france also having 290 pakistan 165 india 150 israel again it's close to 90 those data are available in public domain but in a realistic way it is very very difficult to understand actual how many numbers it is it is an estimated thing right but what is there is going inside nobody knows right and mr putin is the richest man is a dictator his entire russia like no media newspaper media everything is been like no is handled by their pro or whatever you say it you do not have the voice like in china the same thing right is happening right so it's very parallel thing what is happening in uh, what is happening in in russia and what is happening in china it is almost parallel thing i have explained uh, in many videos that that this kind of china china is a very kind of a communist country but till they are silently killing the democratic voice of their own citizen that is what it is in very much in danger i told in first second world war the most benefit somebody has got is the america now in china in the name of corona they are doing all kind of exercise everybody knows but nobody is able to do anything because they become so powerful individually because they have their entire business hub in located in china both from europe from america from africa anything you say in the arabian world everybody has got their manufacturing unit and those are the reasons probably nobody is speaking anything but the problem is not there if they are doing all those exercise very nicely in a democratic way for the betterment of humanity is fine but those kind of adventurism attacking or invading some country it is too much to digest similar way china they are indirectly proxy war they are making they are putting base line in pakistan all kind of sea base like you no know, making kind of sri lanka i went to sri lanka the entire sri lanka is been sponsored by chinese money there are small small countries down also maldives and all those country because it's a basically plan if you is a long term plan somebody is taking both putin and chinese president he is both are what they have done they have make a kind of a permanent position like you no know, like you no know, they are they will be selected by default their politburo or anywhere like no china they made is a kind of a permanent arrangement for the present president the friends what i was trying to tell you it is america till you have the democracy you know that somebody will be selected and, and 
he or she has to do this job i respect uh, american democracy how this is functioning still in a sober way they are doing it even though their policies are sometime it's under scanner or one can criticize also the thing they are doing it for various countries this is not good or i told you many times that this is like in in arabian countries mostly the i told bin laden and is a creation right it's because the american very aggressive policies make somebody more violent in that case that bin laden episode it is known to everybody this is a quite quite educated fellow and if you read his biography the kind of degrees bin laden was having is an engineer then multiple things he has done in his life but taken a different kind of route to fight against america i do not know whether it is bad or good similar way when america attacked uh, whatever you call it shaddam hussein regime in the name of anthrax colin powell and american administration in 2003 45 they have totally totally destroyed this kind of establishment whether this is bad or good again i told it is the part of economic aggression elimination of shaddam hussein they have not found also anthrax and there is no publication from recognized journal stating that that they have something they have found out iraq has been totally destroyed nobody is coming your your this thing our afghanistan what is happening there are close to 70 million people are like no under stressed condition americans they have left it this is a recent incident i made few videos those are heartening thing and uh, those things we should not repeat those things if you are talking about betterment or humanity part those has to be taken into consideration i told our democracy is not very far 100 150 years back we have monarchy if any country is running their own country in a nice way better way whichever way we should not enter or interfere that is what we feel i personally feel that way friends what i was trying to tell over here that the important aspect is there each country's uh, internal matter is their internal matter let them sort it out there are many issues this pakistan policy i told you this sometimes uh, they use uh, for the economic aggression india pakistan this unnecessary fight what you are doing like no we are buying unnecessary weapon uh, so any american president is coming is making visit from delhi delhi to he is going to islamabad going back to again their respective country that is washington dc this is kind of an indirect pressure like right? no buying equipment business now i told you here a nuclear business right every country has is more or less having nuclear good countries right their economy is good they are now having this formula and atom bomb hydrogen bomb all those things they have and many things they have we do not know also what kind of things they have whatever public domain i told you the number of where heads if if like no at any given point in time if putin is thinking in a very mad way i can use this terminology mad way if he is charging it has got the capabilities to destroy penetrate deep into any country and make havoc now other country also won't be silent here i am talking about the balancing act diplomatic channel talking discussing not to exercise those kind of thing that's why i told mr narendra modi not to take support from anything india is a beautiful country and we have enough thing without having support from russia and entire europe even from the america also if we boycott it nothing is going to happen if you take the total population also entire america entire europe 
and entire Russia, all together, all population is all together. If you total it, their population will be much lesser than India. This much I can tell you. In terms of intellectual capabilities, many things we have and we need to have the policy framework. That is what we have been telling. I talked about my previous videos. So many medical students shows and different admission they have taken in the Russian countries like Ukraine and Russia, they are now facing problem. In India, we can have affordable medical. They are only going not because of there is a facilities, it is because of cheap, that is what it is. So in India, we can also have affordable medical because it is possible because medical science for up to MBBS, you don't require such kind of instrument or research activities for that matter. In India, you can always make affordable medical and what is also need of the hour. Another 15, 20 years, we need millions of doctors, millions of engineers to develop this nation. Everybody's wish should be the nation development that is what it is nation each nation one has to be little nationalist over here that is what i am trying to tell over here if you do not have that this nationalism concept things will be much more worse this is what i can tell you it will be much more worse situation if putin like if he's trying to place uh, any kind of nuclear warhead and targeting to different country within 10 minutes everything will be finished this whole world this much i can tell you now it is our wish and wisdom i always say our political leaders must be uh, under scrutiny over here i think if i am not wrong over here just few years back when mr putin uh, not mr putin donald trump was speaking something there are media, they told that he lost his mind and uh, is an imbalanced fellow. He might fall into, they have the also nuclear arsenal, they might use it in a wrong way. And in that context, the some kind of medical panel or something as if one UN can send something to, to, Mr. Putin to see his brain mapping or many things, probably they can do it. UN probably can take a role over here with the ground that what is the audacity he has got right you now to, to not to respect UN or NATO. That is what my question. If he's not respecting means is too much to handle, right? He is either he is very confident what he is doing or he is simply ignoring those UN and NATO because it has happened many times we have ignored those organizations. Time has come to rethink and India probably can take a very calculated thing and one can refer my many videos for that matter. And this is the only message I want to convey because I've been speaking for a long time. I don't like to continue. I wish Mr. Narendra Modi, I need to be a little uh, charged because uh, I could see that students are stuck up in the borderline. Yesterday I made a video stating that my daughter, she was also planning to go to same country right now. If I could have sent her with admission and all those things, I could have been like, no, sitting here, not making this video at least. This much I can tell you. The point what I want to make here, the individual right, common man life is, is under stake. And uh, this political fight is one country to another country with no reason, no justification if this is happening. What is going to happen now? My balancing act, I told you I want to finish it, my mathematical balancing act. I know 
Russia will be supported right now China and Pakistan is going to support Russia my another submission in rest world because I could see today uh, the president of Ukraine is uh, is also been congratulated by the European Union house it's a nice gesture I could see it those kind of pressures are very important right now giving pressure to such kind of countries is very important here is Mr. Putin so how big he might be how wealthy it might be doesn't matter at the end of the day he can enjoy his family can enjoy rest of his life whatever but what is this invasion business it is not understood so Ukraine has got right to defend their own country from the investor or invaders whichever way you say it that is what my point India must watch carefully I can again tell you the positioning of India without anybody's help India can survive and whatever basic things are required India can produce without taking any help but I can tell you this Europe even Russia without somebody's help nothing they can do it if that diplomatic channel that has been utilized not to provide things what is used to be supplied to them it is very important to make them realize that those things are bad things that is what I want to tell over here Mr. Narendra Modi Prime Minister of India or Defense Ministry should be in alert and I think they are getting into uh, again this China and all those people like you know, they are very shrewd whatever happening in the area of uh, Ladakh and all those things all those adventurism is very bad thing what I am feeling uh, each country should be given freedom to take care of their internal matter we should think progressive way we should give up the nuclear things which should utilize for the betterment of humanity science and technology medical research those kind of thing i talked about all those issues in various videos here i want to summarize here in india again it's a nice country people should be united not talking very loose way or loosely all those things it should be taken into very serious ways friends i want to thank everybody over here today i thought of making few videos i could finish it i wish mr narendra modi also will be taking a kind of a role mentorship role if america and india are taking kind of a mentorship role the situation can be brings down to the normal state that is what i am feeling i know china and pakistan is going to support russia by default for their vested interest i am a strong believe the rest countries can unite can be united and they can speak against the putin that is what i want to tell india they will have nothing to lose if this fellow is having close to how many this statistical data i am giving russia is having 5997 close to 6000 nuclear weapon warheads so those things are not been prepared to make kind of a nice meal <laughs> i believe it is meant to utilize as and when required if this madness like imagine here this nato and un is un united and speaking against this gentleman he might do anything like that it had happened right in in in, in many places in ukraine all those electrical power supply i could see a lot of literature available the hacking business is there you can hack the entire system entire 
generator and everything your power supply there will be a shortage of power supply many places you can use it turning down websites turning down people to people contact those things are very heartening only thing what is going on with the common people nobody can understand these political leaders i wish they should exercise their knowledge and wisdom for the better mother earth if they are desire otherwise history is going to remember the way i am rem remembering hitler reading hitler as a bad man same thing stalin all those people like no whoever has done the bad karma definitely i am going to speak on that purpose it will be again another 25 years down the line how history sees them that is more important i wish our political system they have their big minds are sitting i am nobody to advise them i only say what nothing i only say save this mother earth by any means that is what it is if you are not able to save this mother earth this political system leaders who is going to save so this is very important to save this mother earth make it is a nice place for everybody to live and the money we are spending for those kind of bad activities right it can be cuttled down and utilized for the humanity better man healthcare system education system many things we can do it but that kind of desire and wish name we should have it otherwise there is no point in uh, telling me telling is not going to have it is my academic exercise i have been doing it and i feel uh, this small right i have to do that right so this world is a nice place for everybody right so i wish one day everything will be nice if our knowledge and wisdom we exercise it for the better man for their good political leaders like mr narendra modi we have a background like everything we are a spirituality many things are there same thing american president same thing europe many body many body can support it right this support is very important otherwise those supports are going to be helpful right both morally it can boost our individual the common people the sufferings you have that is too much suffering here when i say too much suffering when people are taking loan and going abroad for medical studies to save money because in india our med medicals are very expensive i have requested in my previous videos government of india must look into it set up medical colleges anybody who is to study no problem with a regional some price which is affordable so now the situation what is happening with their parents so those things has to be taken very seriously and i wish our prime minister is a very sensitive person he will do his best by using his knowledge and wisdom that is what i can feel and a backup by the common back up by the administration the think tank whatever i want to say over here thank you very much again now this nice music is going on i am not punching here any songs because i am not fearing i am thinking that this youtube and the facebook the facebook they consider but youtube any song you upload it they will try to put a red mark light kind of a ban or copyright act many things they would say that's why i'm not telling anything finally i want to say every indian say bande mataram bande mataram that's all thank you very much bye bye it's almost 4 hours i have spoken in three three videos 
today i don't like to speak on those issues more i want to see then what will happen the day goes picture will be clear abhi to trailer hai picture to baki hai i don't know the equilibrium when will come if this trailer will be converted many countries is going to support ukraine this much i can tell you there will be a balance and mr putin will be forced to come down come down come down this much i can say he will come down thanks a lot good morning to everybody bye bye take care bye bye